Alright guys, welcome back to the course. So in the last video we were able to create our profile model with the unique slug. So the problem over here is that everything so far has been done manually and now it's the perfect time to bring it to the next level where everything will be done automatically. So every time a user is created we want a profile to this user to be created as well. And how can we do this? We can do it with the use of signals. So signals in Django allow us to send uh, information to some specific application on an event that took place. Often we use it while creating or modifying one of the models to uh, simply execute some action. But before we create our first signal, there are some settings that need to be done inside the profiles application folder. So first of all, I'm actually going to create a new file called signals.py and over here we will create our signals. And the next step will be to find apps.py file and over here we will import the signals file inside the ready method. Okay, so let's write ready and this takes in self and now we can write down import profiles and signals all right so uh, we can go ahead and save this and i'm just going to copy this profiles config name and we are going to use it inside the init.py file so over here we are going to uh, indicate the default app config and it's going to be profiles so our application, apps, our apps.py file, and then this profiles config inside the apps.py file. So now we can go ahead and save it and we can proceed and yeah, start working on the signals. So the first thing that we are going to do is to import a signal called post save. So the information will be sent at the end of the save method. So from Django DB models, signals, import and post save. Okay, so this is the first signal that we will be using. Then what we will need is the user model. So again, from Django contrib auth models, import user. And in order to register signals, we will be using the receiver decorator. So from Django dispatch import receiver. All right. And finally, we will need our profile model. So from dot models import profile. Okay. So now we can use the receiver decorator. And inside we need to put in the post save signal and indicate who is the sender. So the sender is the user. The user will send some information about the user being created. All right. So beneath we need to create a function and this will be post save create profile, which takes in a sender. And the sender is the model of the user. And then we have the instance, which is the instance of this particular user. The next step is to add created argument. So this is a Boolean value, a true or false, and keyword arguments. Okay, so now we can ask if created. So what is happening over here? If the user is created, not modified, created, it's a new uh, instance being created out of this user model, then we can simply write down profile objects and then create. And as the user, we can pass in this instance. And this is it. This is our first signal. So before we actually go and test this, I want to do uh, two more things. So I'm going to print out over here the sender. 
and the sender okay and print the instance okay so we can see and better understand what is happening now I'm going to save it go back to the console and now we are not going to create a profile we are going to go to the users and create a new user so test user 2 and let's set some password for this user let's press save and now we can go to home profiles and there it is there is our test user 2 created automatically and the slug is test user 2 because we don't have any first name and last name provided all right so if we go to the terminal over here is the sender so this is this model of the user and the instance is test user 2 all right so congratulations we created our first uh, signal and we will continue working on this project in the next video thank you for this one take care and bye bye all right guys welcome back to the course so in the last video we created a signal for the communication between the user and the profile so every time a new user is created a new profile is created to this user so right now I'm just going to comment this out those prints and I'm going to save the signals py file and let's head over for a second to the POMD and right now we are at the profiles application we created our profile model and now it's time to create the relationship model so going back to the profiles models py file let's open it and somewhere over here below the profile class we will define a new one called relationship and this of course inherits also from models.model all right so as mentioned in the previous videos we will need three very important fields the first one is the sender so in other words who sends the invitation the second one is the receiver so who receives the invitation and the third one is the status of this relationship is it sent or is it accepted or maybe is it ignored or deleted so we won't actually keep track of ignored or deleted we will handle this a little bit differently but we will have those two first status choices so either it's going to be sent or accepted and if it's accepted we will need another signal for extending the list of friends of the receiver and the sender as well so let's begin so i'm going to put down sender and this is going to be models foreign key to the profile and we are going to put an on delete as in previous example um, over here models cascade okay so let's just write it down models cascade so this is exactly the same thing over here here we had a situation that every time a user gets deleted the profile will be deleted as well and here we have a situation that every time a particular profile gets deleted the relationship will be deleted as well okay so we have uh, models cascade and let's add a related name and set it to sender so now i can grab this copy it and put it below and change sender to receive receiver all right and i'm just going to put it also in the related name okay so we have the two first fields and now it's time for the third one it's going to be status and this is just going to be an ordinary char field and we are going to add max length but also um, we will set the max length in just a second but also we are going to add choices and this we, we will set to status choices so we actually need to create those status choices so I'm going to grab this and put it above the class and I'm going to open open a tuple and inside this tuple I'm going to 
create another one so first I'm going to put in send and this is the value for the database purposes and the second one is going to be the same but this one we will actually see so for example if we head over to the admin and we will create our relationship manually this is what we will see okay on the right so this is the first status and then the second one is accepted all right and we will do it the same way okay so now I'm just going to add the max length so one two three four five six seven eight I'm going to put in eight and yeah mm, we can actually borrow some code from the profile to update it and the create it let's put it over here and then we can add a string representation method so let's just put in that we want to return self sender and then the self receiver and the self status all right so now we can actually save this and we can head over to the admin py file because we need to register this model so we can use it in the admin so i'm going to import import relationship and i'm just going to copy this and paste it below and bring this relationship inside of here all right so we can go ahead and save it and go to our admin so let's go to the home page now we have the relationships so let's add one so I'm going to select uh, me and then I'm going to select the test user what we are going to do very quickly is actually to format this uh, date time field so we can only see the date and I will do it in just a second but first let's create our first relationship so I'm selecting my user and then the test user and I'm sending him an invitation so I'm going to select the status of send let's save and continue and we have no such table profiles relationship and this is obvious because we didn't do any migration so let's stop the server from running in Python manage py make migrations and now Python manage py migrate and Python manage py run server all right so let's try this out again and send save and continue and there it is okay so it's a very very long name so now let's go back to um, and here is the status okay so let's go back to Visual Studio Code let's head over to the models py and we need to take a look at this self created over here let's just add strf time and we want to grab the day and then the month and the year so um, if we save this right now uh, I, I made a type over here sorry str of time and if we save it right now and go back to our admin refresh and there it is so we have only the date right now so uh, yeah right now this is working but if I just open this and change the status of this particular object to accept it and I'm going to save it and then head over to the profiles find my profile as you can see the friends list is still empty and we want to extend it so if the test user accepts my invitation I want the test user to be on my friends list and then I should be on the test users friends list okay so this is something that we need to accomplish and we will do it again with the use of signals and again with the use of post save signal so going to signals py let's create another receiver let's let's register this signal with this decorator 
and this is going to be the post save but this time the sender will be the relationship okay so now we have the relationship so let's set the sender as the relationship and now we can create another function and I'm just going to write it down as post save add to friends and again this will take in a sender and it will um, take in instance created and keyword arcs okay so over here what I want to do is to define a sender and I'm going to do it like this so we don't confuse it with the model and this is going to be instance sender okay and the next thing the next thing is going to be the receiver and I'm also going to do it like this just to keep to have the same convention and this will be the instance receiver all right and now what we can do is to write a check if instance status is equal to accepted accepted okay then what we would like to do is to take this sender we can go ahead and open up the models py file just just for a second and over here we have this friends field all right so we can work on this field in the signals right now so we have this sender and let's take the friends field this is a many to many field so we can add a friend okay and this will be the receiver dot user okay because if we look at the models py file again over here we have the user so uh, yeah we can do it like this and the same situation will be for the receiver so receiver friends add and then this time we will put in the sender dot user and the last thing is that we need to write down the sender save and the receiver save okay so this should actually be working so we can actually save this and test this out so I'm going to um, go to our profiles find the relationship I'm going to delete this relationship just to have a fresh start and first of all I'm going to select me the test user again and the status will be sent first it will be sent so let's go to uh, the users sorry not to the users but to the profiles and uh, find the proper profile nothing changed over here okay as well as over here so now we can go to the profiles again find the relationship grab this object change the status to accept it let's save and now let's try it out so again we will go to the profiles and there it is as you can see my friends list has been extended by the test user and if we head over to uh, the test user profile I'm on his list as well so this is working and we done it automatically with the use of signals so this is it for this video. We will continue working on this project in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.